folks, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Um, today we're doing a crossbow review. Uh, Carmen Express sent us their new intercept crossbow. It's uh, one of the neatest looking crossbows if you look online. And I'll have a link in the description of the video and also on my website at OutdoorProductReview.com um, where you guys can go check these bows out. But really cool looking crossbow from the pictures so far. I just got the box, opened it up. Um, pretty simple though as far let's just get into the aspect of it here you know some other crossbows I've had I put them all together for you guys so you guys know uh, sort of how they're you know how to put them together it's sort of a how-to video and uh, this one sort of comes pre-assembled if you will there's only a few minor parts but you just open the top of the box and everything sort of slides out here and as you can see you know everything's sort of right there which makes it really nice um, but let's sort of open a few things up here and take a look. All right? It says checks for accessories and all these and all these extra pockets. And uh, you know, so what I like to do is I'll open them up and look what they got here. This one's basically some string wax and some field points and the instructions, which are important. And then in this side. is the stock assembly so have our stock assembly so all you have to do on this one really is you pull out your crossbow it just sort of sits down in there pull out your crossbow you have your stock your adjustable stock here and it's got this little sort of like a trigger lease it's like an AR-15 I don't know if any of you guys have a recreational shooting AR-15 uh, but they have the adjustable stocks, it's the same concept. Uh, it's a plastic stock, you just put it on there, or a polymer stock. Stock on, you push the little, the handle here in the back, and let me just show you from the side. And you see it's just sort of like moving, because that's, this is all the pressure is relieved on, on, released on this pin. You just push it in there and it locks. You can adjust it for real short, for traveling, or real long, if you have a long eye relief, or whatever you need with the scope pretty simple just put the stock on there and sort of like ready to go um, it does have a fold down pistol grip so you have that here and then on the front they also have sort of the stub grip all right keeps you from putting your hands up on the rail uh, they have a, a rail flange here that keeps your fingers away from the string um, my father-in-law a few years ago was uh, we were out shooting one of the crossbows that I reviewed and he took a lot of skin off the top of his left hand because he's used to shooting a rifle. This doesn't allow you to put your hand up here against against the rail. It actually just, uh, you keep it underneath, you hold the stubby grip, and it's adjustable. All right? So you can adjust it out. It could be forward, like this, depending on, you know, self-adjust, depending on what your eye relief is, is where you're going to set your stock. All right, you can bring it down, straight down, or you can bring it all the way to the back position and hold it like a, a traditional rifle. So it's got numerous aspects, you know, numerous areas where you can put it in. But uh, other than that, you know, the, the stock assembly is really cool. I like the way that that really looks. With everything folding down out of the way, it just makes it cool. You got all this, it just makes it nice and compact for storage. And, uh, you know, plus you can you can change depending on depending on your forearm angle or whatever the case is. You can change this uh, for the foregrip to be forward more or rear. It's got an underslung barrel, so you can or an under basically a an attachment like an underslung barrel where you can move it forward or back depending on what you're at. And I'd probably move this one just a little bit more forward. And you can do that with some Allen wrenches here on the side. Move it just like you do a cantilever scope mount or whatever the case. You put this up. It's already got your arrows already assembled. Just got to put the field points on. So that's pretty cool. It comes with three bolts and a quiver. And it's got a quick detach quiver. It's got your rope cocking device. Scope 
And of course, your uh, your quick det your law enforcement quick detach scope scope rings. We'll take the scope out of the box here, and it's lighted for uh, you know green. It'll light up the crosshairs, the circles in there that it has. It has crosshairs and circles right in the middle, and uh, it's like a ballistic type scope. And it has red or green. It'll light up in. So good for uh, low lighting shoot. You know, low light shooting. Um, it's already got scope mounts on it but you can change them out with the quick detach so you can take it off for easy packing when you're traveling um, we'll just go ahead and use these ones that we have right here that are on there already so it's sort of nice you get like two sets of scope mounts with this so if you have a rifle that you need some scope mounts you need to use a quick detach or or uh, you know put these on now the key thing here to always have a, you know, is, is finding where, where the sight window is going to be. So the great thing about this quick detaching one, about the rail up here, is that you have your marked places. And now when you get it set, if you're going to plan on using the quick release ones, I recommend you mark the, the, the rail up here so that you know sort of where your, your scope mounts are going to go. Because in that way you can put it back on pretty easy without having to worry about losing your zero once you get the crossbow all sighted in. So just you have to loosen these clamps up. Just like a normal just like a normal rifle. And if any of you, like I said, if any of you guys are AR shooters or whatever, it's the same concept. It also accepts AR slings. So it, it it's uh, they're really trying to make this like a tactical crossbow. See, I'll probably bring my stock out all the way. Move the scope up just a hair. Probably for the next line. One thing I always recommend you do is you make sure that your your scope mounts, the, the, the rings, are tightened because you know when they come from a factory they're just barely tight. So it allows you to self-adjust it as needed. So you don't want to over tight. You don't want to pinch the tube. Um, but you know, the key thing is making sure both uh, on this type of rail system, this picking in or whatever they call it, um, you want to make sure that you know your two little cross your cross bolts here are going to line up with the the grooves on the on the rail there. So I put it on there. Let's go ahead and check the zero on that. See how the eye relief is? And that looks pretty good. So all I'm going to do on this one is you tighten these down by finger and then I would use either a screwdriver or you can use a coin or whatever you see fit. Um, you know, this is a little thick. But you know, you just sort of do it as needed. So you use a coin or something on the side. It's got a big enough groove where you could just turn it. Just tighten it. Don't over tighten it. Just tighten it nice and snug so that you're uh, comfortable with, with how it is. Um, now your quiver, there's numerous ways you can do this. You can have this as a side mounting quiver. Right? And it just slides over the rail on the bottom like that. And there's a little release thing here. You just pull that down. And it basically what it does is it just cinches the uh, cinches a clamp on there so there now you're set you still have room for your hand on the handle all right you can bring it back move it forward however you want if you want to do it traditional the reason why they have this rail here so you don't put your fingers up here you can do it like that so pretty nice pretty nice all the way around um, really cool it coming in it's like a modular system I'm sure you can add anything that you use on an AR you could probably put on this. Um, you know that ranging from a tactical light to a laser to whatever you guys want. Just make sure if you're gonna hunt with it that you're gonna look at the uh, you know make sure you pay attention to your local game laws if they allow it. There, I got a Reinhardt target set out over here that we're gonna go ahead and shoot at. Um, I recommend you know you don't want to use a regular range target like this you're gonna want to use 
something that's really uh, you know solid and high density and it will take a, a crossbow bolt because otherwise one you'll you might ruin the target two you might not get your arrow out and three um, you know there's a lot of other things that can go wrong it can go through the target bounce around so I like to have a nice high density foam target and that's why I use the Reinhardt uh, you can use 18 in one or, or whatever one they have but um, why don't we go ahead and we're gonna draw this and then we're gonna go ahead and um, shoot the crossbow and let you guys you know look at how it fires pretty excited about it, it does look pretty cool it's got all these great little eccentrics to it and uh, you know it's that tactical crossbow and that's what a lot of companies are going to and I just think it's one of the, the coolest things you know carbon looking limbs not much assembly on it you saw all I had to do was put on the 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 stock the AR stock it's got the fold down grips the pistol grip all of it's just really cool so let's go ahead and uh, do a draw test and then shoot this thing and I'll give you my final thoughts <clears throat> All right, so here's our crossbow set up. This, this, the stirrup down here is real small, so you can hold it down with one foot. Okay, so you just put that face down on the ground. I like the rope cocking device because it's nice and small. It doesn't take uh, you know, too much effort. I always put my rope cocking device from underneath. So the clips, the hooks, come up underneath. But there's a little groove back here on the back of the stock. All right, you put your, your rope cocking device there. Just sort of make sure it's even, all right? Pull it all the way back, and it clicks. So I always pull a couple times just to make sure it's clicked. And there you go. It goes on to safe as soon as you cock it. Then all you have left to do is you take your arrow, put a cock vein down, slide it down the rail until it's set in there all the way and you know your bolt doesn't stick out um, you could use fixed blade broadheads but I'd recommend using uh, mechanical with a crossbow because you're getting a lot of speed you know uh, we'll go over the speed and stuff as far as the uh, all that goes looks like it's got like a 20 inch rail so it's uh, the arrows, the bolts 20 inches, but you make sure it's all the way seated back, and, uh, and then you're ready to fire. I mean, this thing's it's pretty easy. It didn't feel like very much to pull back. It was pretty simple. And the rope's nice and short, so you don't have that whole long, drawn out, you know, draw cycle of real long ropes, and you're pulling over your body. Uh, when I draw the bow, I always you stand back with it, and it sort of draws itself. Um, you have to reach up top here for the fire, which I would like to see one of these days, you know, like an AR where it has the thumb safety where you can click it off. Um, you know, since it's a total detached portion from the stock, I understand now why it's up here. You know, and one thing too with that one foot stirrup, I'd like to see maybe a little wider stirrup where you could put both feet on it, or maybe even your foot through it, because that one, it's a little small. I mean, it shoots, it's still cock spine because it's not that hard of a draw, but it just seems like it's just a hair small. Maybe just a little wider would be good. You could get more of a foot placement, even turn your foot sideways on it. On this one, you could do that. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, the things move here a little bit. Let me see what this, if I tighten this, if it tightens the grip. Yeah, that sort of tightens it in place there. But uh, looks really cool. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can adjust they have an underslung rail here on the back where you can adjust the stock back or forward if it's too long for you. But let's go ahead and shoot this thing. So I'm going to reach up here, click it on the fire. We got our little Reinhardt target down there. We've got 20, 30, 40, and then a top post for 50. Oh, that didn't kick at all. A little loud. Um, but that's a lot of energy coming through there to where it really just makes a whack. A uh, little, little bit loud, but you know, it's got like this rubberized coating up here. But really, just, just a little bit of a kick, nothing much. 
a lot of people have saw some other reviews are like if it didn't kick how come you moved well it's just a natural progression even the m16 doesn't kick that much but you still just have just a little bit that shock has to go somewhere which goes through your body um, but nothing that's gonna really throw your shot off and the arrow flew beautiful down there nice and quick definitely pretty cool I'm impressed with it so uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll give you our final thoughts well, there you saw it. It was uh, <clears throat> definitely a smooth shooting crossbow. Uh, you know, a little bit of noise here and there. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's a lot of energy putting through that limb. Um, everything's rubber coated from the stirrup to the uh, rail that goes over the over the shooting rail. Well, there you guys saw it. You know, it uh, definitely fast shooting. Shoots over 360 feet per second. A um, little bit of noise. I don't know if the animal would hear the noise uh, by the time the arrow got there, but uh, it's pretty fast. You know, it's we don't have any regular boat shoots over 360 feet per second. The the noise can be, uh, you know, everything's rubber coated on here. Even the the, the the main the main stock on it up top sort of rubber coated. You can maybe get some of the limb savers. Have the uh, the split limb limb savers for a crossbow, and that'll absorb some shock. You know, there's numerous things you could do to take that noise out of there. Uh, most crossbows I've, I've shot, they have a little bit of noise, um, you know, some more than, than others. But, you know, this is a light crossbow, so something that's really light, you're going to really have a, you know, a good amount of uh, a noise and vibration out of. But fast shooting really looks cool, and uh, they're great to shoot, you know. A lot of people pay a ton of money for AR ammo, uh, 223 or whatever they're shooting, 308. But, you buy your arrows here and you can shoot them over and over so it's a great concept and you still get out there to have fun so the axle axle on the limbs is 17 inches uh, when it's fully cocked they're only 13.5 which makes it real compact but even 17 for storage purposes is really small uh, game plan gear makes a great crossbow uh, pack that you could use to carry something like this through the woods and uh, you know if that's what you guys are planning on doing if you're going to be ground blind you can attach a uh, you know a bipod to the bottom of it and have it just like it's a sniper rifle so you know I do know they make a great arrow they make a great bolt and uh, I think you guys really like what you see uh, you know it's just cool all the way looking around and uh, you guys will have a fun time so you know they get a thumbs up only thing like I said I'd like to see the foot stirrup a little wider a little less noise and vibration but that could be done with time and you know you could put limb saber stuff all over this uh, adjustable stocks a plus you know, you got your little foregrip here that comes down like a stubby grip. You got your your pistol grip that comes down, makes it nice and compact, keeps your hands away from the danger zone. If they could somehow one of these crossbow companies put a safety that's close enough for your thumb to reach where you don't have to move your hand over, that would be a plus. You know, for a 175 pound crossbow, this is a great deal. So you guys go out there, check them out, and uh, you'll see the link in my description. And you can look at all the other crossbows they have and all the arrows and everything that they have. And, um, you know, Carmen Express, they have some great products. So, for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. We'll see you guys on our next bow review.